OK, in this final tutorial on navigation, we're going to look at how to create a product that not only navigates between frames, as this one does, the one you've previously built, but also navigates from one flash movie, or SWF, to another. Now, to demonstrate this, what we need to do is we need to use, for example, Activity 4 and Activity 5 as um, links to external SWFs. Now, what do I mean by external SWFs? Well, if we look at my, my file structure, what you'll see is that we've got two types of flash file. We've got the FLA, the FLA, which is um, the editable document that you're creating at the moment in Flash, and then we've got the SWF movie, which is the actual movie that would go onto a website or would actually go, that will actually create your product. And it's these that do the navigating. You you build in the S FLA, but it's the SWFs that you publish and do the work and are much much smaller files for being handled on websites and travelling back and forth over the broadband. Now. What we have here then is I've created Activity 4. Notice now that I'm trying to stop leaving any gaps in the names of the files. Uh, where I want to, I've put underlines, and where I don't want a gap, I've just butted it up. Um, if we look at Activity 4, if I open up the SWF, uh, basically what we have is a 700 by 600 page with a home button on there and it simply says activity 4 and that is an SWF file. Now you're going to build activity 5 and you're going to link it and I'm going to show you by sh by using this tutorial to show you how to get from um, one SWF to another SWF to get from this SWF so that when we click on activity 4 it opens up activity 4 but we're not moving along the timeline we're actually opening up um, another SWF. Now you will need to to create um, these buttons they may already have been created for you and we've got the buttons layer um, open unlocked and we need to go to activity 4 go into the actions area and as before open up the global functions and we want movie clip control to begin with and as before we want to go on release because again we're releasing the button to make it do something now this time though we're not going to move along the timeline we need to browse the network because the file we're looking for is somewhere on the network and we want to use load movie OK, so we're going to select Load Movie, bring that in, and we're in the brackets, and we've got to give it its exact name as an SWF file. So it's called Speech Marks, and this will go green, Activity 4 dot SWF okay speech marks comma zero now the zero is is technically very important and, and something to be explained at a later date look at this activity four no spaces it's it's good to avoid spaces if we can okay now what's this going to do it's going to when this button is released activity four button it's going to load a movie called activity for SWF and hopefully um, it will take us to that particular document. So let's try that now. So we'll go to the timeline, let's control test movie and we know what happens if we click on activity 2, activity 3, activity 4 and with any luck if we click activity we've actually gone to another SWF which is excellent progress. 
Now, in activity four, you would play the activity, whatever it was, and you'd ideally click on the home button to take you home, but at the moment that is not working. So we need to build a load movie action script command in activity four to take us back to our main page. Now, my main page is called home. This is the FLA. It's called home. There it is, home. So when I build my activity, at, when I build my links, I need to make sure that my button links to that particular page. So I go to my home button, okay, which is locked, so I need to unlock it. I need to unlock it. I need to go to the actions panel, make sure I'm on home. And again, where do I go? I need to use on, release. I need to browse the network, which is down here, browse the network. I need to use the load movie command. And now I need it to, to go to home. Oh, no, we need to make sure we use speech marks. Home dot swf speech marks comma zero and now if we now do control test movie we ought to now that ought to take us to our home page so we can go activity one activity two activity three activity four click on home and it takes us back to there now what you've got to do to show that you understand it is to a to make this button say activity 5 you need to build an activity 5 page and publish it as an SWF and build the code to allow you to navigate between the various pages